Thank you for holding, everybody. We're now joined with the head coach of Western Kentucky University, Bobby Petrino. If you have a question for Coach Petrino, please dial star one on your phone at this time. Coach, while we're for questions, we'll get in the queue. Would you mind to start us off with an opening statement? Well, we're coming off of a, a good win for us. You know, um, last Saturday night I thought we played well. Obviously, obviously a game we should win uh, and should be able to win the way we did. But I was impressed with the way our players prepared for the game, practiced hard all week, and then went out and had fun. Had a great crowd and um, had a lot of a lot of fun. So now we got to get ready for a very very good Navy team, and uh, which will really challenge our defense on our discipline and and uh, technique to stop the option game. Thank you, Coach. Our first questions come from Louisville, Kentucky. Caller, please identify yourself and go ahead. Michael Gray for the Courier Journal. Google, how are you doing, Coach? Good, Michael. How's it going? I'm doing fine. Uh, after taking, uh, being able to evaluate all four quarterbacks in game action, uh, do you have an idea in terms of who will start this week, or is that going to be kind of a last-minute decision as well? No, we're not, we're not going to um, have an idea yet. We're going to go into practice and let them, um, you know, compete and work hard in practice. I thought all four of them did some good things. Um, but obviously they have a lot, of, a lot of work to do and a lot of areas they can improve upon. Any concern from your point of view that none of them were able to throw a touchdown pass, or was that not necessarily relevant in that kind of game? Yeah, it really didn't show, you know, the, the, there really wasn't an opportunity to present itself to do that, you know, once we got in that area of the field or, you know, um, we were running the ball. So we, we ran the ball real well, and we're real effective running the ball, and we ran the offense through our tailbacks. Uh, just based on the game film, um, who, which of the quarterbacks, who did play well? Well, I thought they all did a good job. You know, they, they did a lot of things we asked them to do. We did a couple different things with each guy and tried to learn more about them. So, uh, you know, I thought they all did a good job. And Todd Porter, uh, how would you? What did you think of his first start? Well, I thought I thought he came in and executed well. I wished he wouldn't have threw the interception. He was just trying to make a big play out of nothing, and you know. Uh, but he showed a tremendous sense of where the rush was. Made a big play running out of the pocket and throwing the ball deep. Um, he probably throws the ball better than any of the other ones. Um, a pure passer, but um, he does have the ability to run and move around and make plays with his legs. Um, so I thought he did some real good things. Keeping the uh, quarterback position kind of an open, try, or at least a, a tryout, is this something you think is going to go on for a while, or would you like to maybe have it a little bit more settled? Yeah, we need to get it settled a little bit more and really understand where we're at and what we're going to get done this week. But it was it was good work. Thanks, Coach. You bet, Michael. Thank you, Michael, and uh, thank you, Coach. That's all the questions we have for you today. We do appreciate your time. Okay, thank you. Thank Bye. you. And that will conclude this week's teleconference. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us. A copy of this will be posted on sunbeltsports.org later today. If we can provide any assistance, please feel free to contact the conference office. Thank you. Thanks again for joining us. We hope everybody has a great week.